Hi, welcome back. Have you ever wondered why are we told on planes to put on our own mask first before helping anyone else? I will surely explain you. To begin with, we must know that aircraft cabins are usually pressurized at an altitude of 8,000 feet, about 2,500 meters above sea level. Aircraft cabins are pressurized, otherwise we couldn't breathe at the altitudes that commercial planes usually fly at. Although airplanes are extremely safe, there can be times where the pressurization systems may fail. That's why aircrafts are equipped with oxygen masks for passengers and crew. Right, but why must we put on our own mask first before helping others? This is because commercial planes normally fly at an altitude of 28,000 to 40,000 feet. If the cabin suffers a loss of pressure, this will result in the cabin pressure being equalized to the external one, and without a supply of oxygen, we will soon lose our consciousness. Therefore, the time that we have between the loss of cabin pressure and placing our oxygen masks is what we call time of useful consciousness. This means that at the altitude that commercial planes fly nowadays, we would have about 12 to 20 seconds before losing our consciousness without an external oxygen supply. That's why, in the event of a decompression on board, passengers and crew must immediately place their oxygen masks first before attempting to help anyone else. If the cabin loses pressure during the flight, oxygen masks will drop out from a box above your seat. To start the oxygen flow, pull the mask down, press it firmly over your mouth and nose, adjust the head strap, and breathe normally. Adults seated next to children or any other person who needs help should put on their own mask first and then assist the other person.